All right, good evening, everybody. It's your boy, Akeem, and welcome to this blog. Here to give you a scout report on Deshaun Hall, the defensive end and fellow teammate of Miles Garrett from Texas A&M. This is an interesting prospect to look at for this year's draft. Now, he's actually from Seattle, Washington, before headed over to College Station. He actually had a pretty couple decent seasons over the past two, two years. He did have over uh, 12 tackles for loss over the course of the last two seasons. In 2015, he had 14 and a half to go along with seven sacks and then 13 um, tackles for loss this past season with just four and a half sacks. It's not really a sack king that you're looking for like Miles Garrett, but he can get behind the line of scrimmage and cause some disruption. And I think he could be a great compliment a uh, complimentary type of defensive and at the next level to a star player just like what we've been seeing during his career with him and miles garrett complimenting miles garrett at the opposite mm -hmm. defensive end position now let's talk about his kids strengths and weaknesses he does have many good strengths his first and foremost is his size at six foot six 276 pounds this is great um size that you want your uh defensive end to be and he does have pretty good speed he runs a four seven six forty and because of that size the speed that shows that he has good length and he has at the ability to, to get to change from sideline to sideline to get to ball carries which is a great aspect that you want your defense to have defensive end to have now um i do like about the fact that he is a great reliable player he has good moves to get um to the quarterback to get to um behind the line of scrimmage he can be very disruptive but i really actually have to take things back i think the number one thing i like about him is his versatility he you can actually actually mold him into various positions you can put him in wide nine or play the five technique or even play outside linebacker he this very versatile which i do like about him now i don't think that he could possibly play a three four defensive end but possibly because of his size and then maxing out with his speed i think this is going to be an interesting guy he can play multiple positions so coaches could definitely shift him in various situations and I think he has enough knowledge to play for separate defensive schemes and change things up causing some confusion against opposing offenses which I do like about him that because of that versatility that is a the biggest key that I do like most about him now there are some weaknesses though and the one that stand out most stood out most to me is his strength he's not very strong for a man of his size he only had 18 reps at 225 pounds which is not not good which is a little bit surprising he kind of reminds me of Ann Seau and I'm saying Ann Seau because I um over this uh last year we saw hard knocks on HBO the training camp for Los Angeles Rams and Ann Seau had the speed but he didn't have the strength to make the team now I not do not see the same thing with Deshaun I think Deshaun's still a better athlete overall he has good athleticism but the strength is major concern especially if he has to deal with um opposing offensive linemen who latch on into him which he doesn't really allow too much during his career, which I have noticed. But he can get pushed around sometimes because of that strength. This is a little bit of a shocker to me. I think coaches need to focus more on t telling him that he needs to increase his strength, which I, I believe that he already knows. He's getting training and during this offseason trying to boost up that strength. But when you try to get stronger, you can sometimes lose your speed in most cases, which is a little bit of a concern. So that's why if he does increase his strength, he could possibly play a 3-4 in in which usually three, four ends, I kind of kind of look at them more of uh, not like pass rushes, but more of run disrupting the, the line of scrimmages, particularly in stopping the run. But you do have some good premier pass rushes running a three, four defense, but more used, in my opinion, to uh, as to cause more disruption in the line of scrimmage and use your outside linebackers as the premier pass rushers but we will see though if he does increase his strength i think he definitely boots up his draft status now overall from my projection i actually see him in the third round of this year's draft being selected because of the strength like I said, if he shows some, if he, he might be selected in the second round because teams do believe in him because of the size and length that he has and, so, and the flexibility that he has, which is a great aspect as well. But the strength is a major concern. You've got to be strong at the next level to have a combination of strength and speed. But he did have a productive career over the last two seasons. I see him more as a third round pick. Now, the next time to catch you guys from being a couple of minutes, I have more blogs for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.